teaching. Okay. So now let's work on looping uh, condition. So first we will discuss this, then we will discuss this. Okay. So first of all, what is a looping condition? Suppose you have a requirement, like uh, you will receive the data at the enterprise level. So enterprise level, a global server is there for any company, any organization. So they run that business, okay, the, the system um, triggered at the centralized server. And what all the transactions happen across the globe, all the data will be dumped it in a file. But at the end of the day, all the transaction will dump it, uh, dump it in, in a single file. Okay. So here all the country's trans business transaction data will be there. So now my requirement is I need to separate the data from country wise for a country wise. Okay, so country wise, I need to separate the data in a form of file or in a, I need to load that in a database. Okay, so the reason I'm doing this, suppose if you split the data uh, country wise, when you fetch the reports, basically when you, when you want to fetch the reports uh, uh, for the respective country, so the respective country, the middle level and uh, top level management of that respective country, they can do the analysis based on at the country level. Okay, so the reason for uh, doing this is like every time if you want to hit the main uh, server or main file, there will be heavy load that will be impact the server also sometimes. So during that time, the data retrieval and uh, get the data for the report analysis purpose, it may, it may take time. And sometimes servers uh, uh, get crashed also. So to avoid all these things, uh, they can separate the data for a country wise. Okay, suppose the 10 countries, the business operations are going on. So I want to separate the data for each country wise, I mean, uh, load the data in a separate, separate table. Okay, so now how to do that activity? So in data state job sequence, we have a concept called looping condition, looping variables. The purpose here is to uh, split the data based on the listed loop and number loop. Okay, so now let's uh, see that. Let's. Just a second. Okay, so now I'm now opening the job. So go to data stage job. Okay, so here uh, there are two types of uh, variables. Okay, so first, first of all, for example, if you want to run a particular job a number of times, okay, so in sequence, job sequence, we have a concept called start loop activity and end loop activity. So, what does this start loop and end loop activity mean? The start loop and end loop activity will do is to iterate the run uh, the number of that are specified. So here, here is the job. In uh, job properties, I have mentioned the job should run three times as a default. So number of times to run. Okay. So number of times. I can take number of uh, number of times to run. So, okay, so this is a parameter. So this is the parameter run time job parameter have given. So drag and drop the start loop in activity. Okay, so connectivity. This is the job actually. So what this job is doing is it is extracting some data from the load and then loading in a file. Okay, so the file names will be the location. Just a second. So location underscore project. 
So here location underscore then location is the parameter. So location is the parameter, but we are not passing any value there. Okay. So when you are not passing any value, it is taking the value that you applied in the system. Okay, so here. When you double click on the particular job, so here location data. Okay, so so here I have one data. So it will consider system. So if you want to give any other variable, you give any other variable, uh, like uh, any string, like I will give India. So it will uh, the location will be updated to the particular type. Okay. So here parameter parameter uh, value passing here. So sometimes you can insert parameter and during the runtime we can use. Okay. So that location uh, the parameter value we can pass it here also. We can give here and we can insert the parameter. Okay. So that is one approach. Okay. So currently I am doing that. I'm passing a default static value in here. Okay, so let me open start looping variable. So here there are two types of looping variable. Number one is numeric loop and other one is listed loop. So what is meant by uh, numeric loop? So numeric loop means nothing but if you want to run a particular job any number of times. So basically it starts with the I mean one, and then steps of increment is one, and the number of times that you want to run the job. So how many times? Four times, five times, hundred times, thousand times. That is up to you. So two value I have in parameter in the double property. So this one. Okay. So here the value, whatever the value that we have defined in the Java property is the value will be picked up here. So now click on okay. So we have defined something here. Take action. Initially, okay. Fine. So until this loop, the start end value two value because the value that is defined in Java properties, uh, Java runtime parameter Java properties. So that means the Java will be executed. Here. So now I will uh, save this job. So, simply just the same. Click on close and run the job now. So, I will do the job should be five times. So, default is over, I am in five. So, that means the job should be five times. Now, click on run. Okay. So, the job will be five times here, like iteration one. So, this is the first iteration. See, it has so you can see the iteration here, iteration number. So now I will do 10. Okay? So let's see the how many times it will. So I will do 10. Okay. Yeah. Run the job. Iteration 1. Last iteration. Okay. So first iteration got done. Now second iteration.
The last question, yeah, it doesn't complete it. So you can see here, so we have given 10 times. So it has just done 10 times. So eight questions you guys see here in this exercise. Okay, any questions? Okay. Okay, no questions. Right. Fine. Then we'll see, we'll see the next uh, topic. This is the uh, so the same exercise. I am taking care of this. So here I have given the listed available. So each one is separated by daily. So these are the list of things I have given. So I will rename the this thing. So this is the listed nation. So suppose that type of country is learning India, Pakistan, USA, UK. So I will give the exact country names. New Jersey. New York. Okay, New York. Egypt. Egypt. Sri Lanka. Okay. Let me just say again. So here I'll read this other countries. More time. More time. Give. Turkey. Another country. You can do any country. So, which one I can give? Rome. Okay. And these are the countries. It's just an example. So, I'm considering this. Uh, Yes, so suppose here every time it will be get abundant. Okay, so filter entry based on this country. Okay, so in the job, if you see here, so in the listed uh, listed of here, uh, we are asking uh, what is the value that is coming here. So you can see here. Okay, so this is where we are passing that value. So what are the values that are defined here? Every time it will get updated. Okay. So you need to mention the proper delay here. Click on okay. Okay. So now we can see every time we will append the locations here. So location value will be appended here. Okay. So in the Java, I have not defined anything. So India is a project that is so country wise we are separate the data. So imagine this is a any centralized database or something. Okay, so centralized file data. So we are splitting the data to the respect country, the interpretation. Okay. Right. So now I'm running this up. So now we output. So you can see here, position record started. Project India started. First one is India. So what is the next value? Pakistan. Okay. 
you can see what I have sort of done. So, I did not run the job. Okay, that's the LF file. Okay. So now what I have done, delete this file as well. You can see each uh, file will be generated, generated for each scan. Yeah, it started. Now you can check here. Yeah. Next. Pakistan. You can see here. After that, New York. Like that, you can see. Okay. New York. Next is Egypt. Like that. So that is the advantage of this list of looping. Looping the person just Sri Lanka, New Jersey. And the next one is Morton, New Jersey. Morton, Turkey. Next is Turkey. Morton and Red, Turkey. After that, room. Okay. So, this is the way we we'll use this uh, looking at this. Okay. So, in which case, sometimes we have case also we we'll use uh, anti file appears. We can keep on uh, rotating the value. And in case file is appears, where the uh, file has in Valid uh, and uh, that if you check and again, you can uh, you can keep on rotating until you will get proper file. So this is the scenario. This start load we will use in uh, rate Okay. So any questions? Guys? Any questions? Okay. No questions. Okay. So now. No questions, right? Okay. Okay, thank you.